Grunger Lamp Zero Gaming back, and in today's video, uh, this is a character review, guys. Character review, okay? So today, uh, we are just going going through like pretty much like the main characters you want to have. If you can't get this character, do the next one. The fun characters, uh, the characters that you really want to, if you want serious gameplay, and the characters that might fit you. So first of all. Uh, the character that I have on, he is actually not the best character. He's actually pretty far from it, but he does have actually some pretty cool moves that you could Like, it wouldn't work. It would work against, like, one player with all your team, but it's definitely not going to win you the war. Um, especially not if I'm playing as that. So here are your, pretty much these four people right here. Uh, it's going to come down to Lifeline, Wraith, and the military lady, I forgot her name. And, um, pretty much just the locked characters. Sometimes they're good. And we're just gonna review these guys and say which ones are the best, which ones are not. So let's start with Bloodhound. He's pretty much like a technical tracker, so he has ri uh, sonar, you know, Pathfinder. You know, he has that little symbol that's same with lifeline so the medics kind of thing they're kind of like they're gonna help your team they're gonna add on to it like the zip lines are gonna get you out of that bad situation and then here the octane so he's a high speed a uh, daredevil and then the other guy on the bottom he is pretty much you know cloner he makes clones that's what he does so both of those guys are really fun to play as and there's ray everybody so uh Let's start off with him. So let's just like review what he does. So he can be used, I'm actually gonna show you examples of these guys in a second, especially him. He can be used for camping and like above and beyond what you would think he could ever be. It's kind of like a glitch. You're really not supposed to use his little air sacs, you know, those bombs for what he, for pretty much you're using them the wrong way. You're not supposed to use them like what I'm about to show you in a few minutes, but it works and it really does do a good job it like top notch and these are the assassins he can do so see he uses gas to knock out his enemies usually i know how funny like this guy but he's a pretty serious guy though he like always has like the most darkest comments to say so i guess that's one thing i guess uh let's see so moving on we have bang Galgor. okay pretty sure i said that right Professional soldier. So she is really, really useful. I used to play her where I had caustic. And they're actually kind of the same. All she has is smoke bombs. The guy has, you know, gas bombs. But she can one hit with... If she fires the smoke grenade right into you, that will be a one hit. And then as for him, he'll put out the little traps. All you have to do is shoot it. Or wait for your super on that guy to kind of like come up. And then you, you'll pretty much have... It would just be green instead of white. And that's about it. So they're kind of the same in, you know, you know, thinking. Theoretically thinking, I guess. But, so he is a good substitute. So if you want to substitute out, I'd definitely be that. But they are, Bangalore is like in Ray, they're in Lifeline, Pathfinder. They're one of like the most like sought off characters. Also Octane. And they're like the main, they're like the main ones that everybody wants to be, you know. You might have another opinion, but this is just what I see, and that's why I see a lot of people, especially Octane. He's a fun character to play. So, yeah, those four right there, they're, like, the main people right there. Like, I just, you know, zoomed over all of them. And they each have, you know, their own abilities, talents. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do Wraith next. So, it says interdimensional, you know, so what she is is, like, you know, just, like, a portal thing. When I record, I can't really like see the um, all those little like, yeah, like the little text. But I do know that she can open portals. She's pretty annoying, and she can actually be a substitute for Octane. Believe it or not, you know, uh, she has you know those powers that can just she can just run faster than a lot of the other players. So she kind of has like like a midnight zone where everything goes frozen, and she can go a lot faster. So she's pretty much. A substitute for Octane if you like how fast she runs, and that's why most people use Octane. Next we have Lifeline. She is the combat medic. So what she really does is most important to the team. You can save on syringes. You can really save on a lot of stuff. She's really good, especially 
if you're going to be doing close fights or camping that way you can have your drone right here fire and when you take back damage uh, it'll repair you so Wraith, judging from the assassinations uh, this is like her portal abilities are in her assassination now most assassinations sometimes are just you know just like hit 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 not using my abilities um, but in every assassination she's usually doing something with her powers uh, this is pretty interesting this does show like how fast uh, you can be if you do use her powers and that's why she's kind of like a sought after character you can have the you know upper advantage you can portal right to your enemy and uh, that last one is actually cool just throws the person through the portal don't know where that ends up but <laughs> And then Lifeliner here, her assassinations are pretty like normal, I already went over her. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys the text, the tests, so. So here we are, and then, so first I'm going to actually show you a uh, caustic, and you actually want to head to the bunker if you want to do these special things. I'm um, actually going to release a glitch video of some of a cool glitch you can do with his little like, um, air sacs. If you guys don't have caustic, you guys are probably wondering like, Oh my gosh, I need him. You guys will really want him after I show this. Like, this is just hilarious. I got this clip live, and I actually tried this about five times before filming the rest of this. Can I get to get, like, the experiment right? But I did some dumb person would walk in and not realize what I was trying to do. Some people were smart. They're like, I know what you're trying to do. I'm just going to throw a few grenades in there and, you know, get rid of you. But some person was dumb enough to actually do this, and, um... Yeah, it's coming up right now. So what happened was everybody just ran right into the I love like, just like narrating what happened. So the octane goes first. Somebody's trying to kill me, and I start putting these in front of the door like I'm gonna seal it up. What the person doesn't know is they're shooting all the air sacs, which is really so loud as I start shooting them. They knocked me down, and then the t they had stuck me on the table, and that was enough to have the air sacs knock them out. And see, they just died on the table because they couldn't. They were trapped in the room. The air things. So what happened was, so here, let me just explain it. The air sacs get in front of the door. So they come in when, so I'm throwing it, and they can walk through it when you're throwing it down. So they walk through, they get them, they get themselves trapped in, and they try to shoot back at me. They set off, you know, they shoot the bags, they set off the bags, they go off, they can knock you down, but they're going to be trapped in there, and the gas is just going to, you know, it's kind of like a constrictor. They're going to get around them and kill the character. So I thought that was pretty cool. So now on to the next test. Okay, so now this is by far my, this is like my favorite thing of all. It's camping, okay? Don't get me wrong, no one likes it, but it's still fun and there's a chance they can get you. So in this experiment, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do. So this actually went completely wrong when I filmed it. So I'm going to show you what to do. But usually you actually don't want to do this uh, before, but I don't want to play an hour long match just to get something that may or may not work. So I'm going to show you like what's supposed to happen and how it works, and then we're just going to see if some person you know, does it right. Uh, you know, spoiler alert, they kind of outsmarted me, they kind of knew what I was doing. It could have been the people I tried last time and it worked on, and they're like, I know you, you're playing on the same server, I'm going to stay away from you. So what's going to happen is you're going to lock yourself in this room when everybody else is coming. So what happened is the supply ship was very far away, or you know, the drop ship. So some people may not be coming in here, but like last time, people were just flowing in. So it really does depend how long you have to, you know, set up your gear. You actually want to come to this room, you just want to climb up right here, and you can hide wherever you want. So let me just explain this, let me just break it down. These little bags, they're actually like sandbags. Now you cannot shoot through them, you can shoot at them and they'll release a gas, not affecting you or your teammates, but affecting the person trying to attack you. So for shotgun attackers, you know, beware, this will completely backfire on you. Now if you're using, you have a shotgun, you know, you're going to do just fine. Uh, and now what's really the f funniest part is, you can get up to six of these and have... You know, your super ability, which is like the noxious gases, and when somebody actually opens up the door, it's actually going to trigger all of them to go off. It's kind of like redstone in Minecraft. And, see, that just happens. And, so I set one off, but look, this one created this, like, if you set all of them off, that's double the end, that's double six points per second from each of them. 
So if you, so if somebody comes, like, they are, like, so screwed, they, like, one whiff of this, they are so knocked down and dead, I cannot begin to explain, like, how lethal this is. I mean, it really is. So here, let me just show you actually how it works. So what's gonna happen is, I don't think the doors actually go back in place, so this kinda sucks, but supposed to, somebody's supposed to open it in, they're not gonna be able to get in. They kick the door open, right? You know, like any person would. When they kick it, or shoot it open, or grenade it open, all the bombs will be set off. Now if they grenade it, you wanna quickly hop off of, you know, where it was hiding, and get to the farthest edge of the room, maybe behind the table, like right here. So you're not gonna be impacted by it, so when they come in, just shoot them. You can throw grenades at your own. If that helps. I know it is a small room, but you can find rooms with two doors. It can just be harder to defend. You can actually do this out in the wilderness. If you find like a corner like a you know corner of the world to do this, you can just line a bunch of these and they'll make perfect cover for you. So somebody did exactly what I thought they would. They set off all the traps. How perfect, right? And probably in this one. And then you can actually set off your own traps by um, shooting them. So say I just set that one off by shooting it. And I threw my big boy. So see, they'll probably kill me, but there's no doubt that they become like damaged. Now, if my I was playing with my teammates and they're all on here, like this could have not gone better. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna be, you know, the man. I'm probably getting knocked down. Now they're gonna rush out there. Even if you have Bangalore, that would be perfect. She throws her smoke screen into it as well. Everybody rushes out there and just like fires on the enemy. Like, that would just be, like, the most perfect ambush ever. So, guys, that is it for me. I hope you learned a lot. I had as much fun. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. I really enjoyed doing all these tests. And, uh, quite frankly, just messing with people. So, that was actually really fun. Uh, do check out my other content if you want more tips and tricks like this. Or just, like, I do have another video just, like, messing around with people. And just, like, m like it's a life hack. It really is. It's just hilarious don't forget to subscribe and yeah check out my other content but you know without saying hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys